What's up, you guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review for Scream 3. Now, I filmed all four of these back to back in my next two videos. They were all four, like, filmed one right after the other, after the other, after the other, and then sent to my. You know, and then, like, all as a whole, sent to my cousin so she could edit, in, edit them. But yeah, today I'm going to be looking at Scream 3, released in, like, no, released in 2000. So this one was three years later, and. Why don't you shut up, you all I hate that movie. It's what you would get if a fifth or sixth grader saw the first two movies and was told to make another, and all he had for film equipment was dog crap. So it turned out being like really, really horrible. Really terrible movie. Uh, it has all the returning cast and added in Patrick Dempsey, Scott. Foley, Foley, I mean, Lance Hendr Hendrickson, Matt Kessler, John McCarthy, okay, I'm not saying all those, anyway, let's see, forget it. Alright, so Scream 3, this is definitely a skip it, because I really hated it. Uh, basically what it's about is Sydney, she comes back into the picture, she is now, like, uh, she's talk. she's basically talking to people about her experience, and that's what she does for a job. She's got this really cute dog, uh... And all the murders start happening again, including someone from the sequel, Cotton Weary. In fact, that's the first death of the movie. Um, turns out by the end of it, it's her long lost brother, Roman, who's been doing all the killing. And he's a really small, like tiny little small part. He, uh, he's only in a couple of scenes, and he's pretty funny in those, but... Ugh, I hated that ghost face reveal. Also, the uh, the voice changer is not practical. It's very impractical. Uh, so yeah, like I said, Scream 3 is a skip it. Uh, hated this movie. No one's to be all these monsters. So let's just go to the good. I liked the casting in it. That's all I liked. Now the bad? Oof, I'm about to tear this thing up. Um, I really hated the digital voice. 